Learning pinyin is easy when you have the right support. My name is Vienna, and I'm here to help you learn Chinese pinyin. Welcome to Learn How to Chinese. 欢迎 Today, I will teach you another three elisions in the Chinese pinyin system, and they are, ge, ke, he. Before we continue, let me remind you that there are twenty-one elisions in pinyin, and so far we have learned eight of them. If you're new to Pinyin, make sure to check out our Pinyin menu. Stay tuned as we will continue to add useful lessons to help you master Mandarin. Are you ready for today's lesson? 开始 The first initial is 歌 Repeat after me. 歌歌 Remember, when you form a Chinese word, almost all the time you need an initial. A final and a tone. So, to form this word "gong," you will need the initial "g" and the final "ong." Together, you read "g ong gong." Repeat after me: "g ong gong." It uses the first tone, so "gong gong gong gong." It is "gong." What does "gong" mean in Chinese? The word by itself can have several different meanings, depending on the second word you pair it with. When I pair the word "gong" with the word "fu," you get "gong fu." Chinese "gong fu" has thousands of years of history, and people in the past practiced "gong fu" to defend themselves or to survive when being attacked. Today. People practice gong fu to strengthen their bodies and to develop better willpower. And for Chinese people, gong fu has another meaning besides martial arts. People refer to gong fu as the use of time and effort. For example, when I ask you, "Did you put lots of gong fu into learning Chinese?" I hope your answer is yes. Again, gong fu has the double meaning: martial arts. And the use of time and effort. One more time on the initial, ge ong gong. It uses the first tone, so gong 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 gong. It is gong. Not bad, 不错 The second word is kong. It is make up of the initial, ke, and the final I just taught you, and it is ong. Good job! If you remember the final on, if not, remember it this time because I will use it again for the next word. Together with the initial k and the final on, you get kong. Repeat after me: k on kong, k on kong. It uses the third tone, so kong, 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 kong. It is. Kong. Did you know that Kong can be a Chinese last name? I hope you recognize this wise man. He was a philosopher, educator, and politician. While some of you may still have no idea who he is, many of you recognize him as Confucius. Chinese people call him Kong Zi. Kong Zi. Kong is his last name, and Zi. Here refers to a master, so Chinese people literally call Confucius a master Kong. Kong Zi was the foundation of Confucianism, and his followers later on devoted themselves to many great thoughts to expand Kong Zi's teaching. Let's take a quick look at some of the core principles from Kong Zi. Today, the philosophy of Kongzi is still honored by many generations in China. Also, his teaching was reached to some foreign countries, where you can find Confucius schools such as in the U.S. One more time on the Pinyin, Ke Ong Kong. It uses the third tone, Kong 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 Kong. It is Kong. The last word is "hong," meaning red. It is made up of the initial "he" 
and the same final. Hong. It used the second tone, so Hong, 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 Hong. It is Hong. Red is considered a lucky color in China, which can be surprising to some people, since red often relates to danger or blood. But this is not the case in China, especially during Chinese New Year. You find people wearing red clothing and decorating their homes with lots of red. And guess what? Some females even dye their hair dark red. However, to Chinese people, lucky red is a seasonal color. By that I mean, there's a time when Chinese people avoid wearing red clothing. It is on the Ghost Festival. Chinese people believe that only ghosts wear red on that day. So, if you're traveling to China during the Ghost Festival, try not to wear red, or you may freak them out. Well, Chinese people are just that adorable. One more time on the pinyin. He and on, he on, hong. It used the second tone, so hong, 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 hong. It is hong. Congratulations, gong xi. You have made it this far. So I believe you put in some gong fu to learn Chinese pinyin. That's great, and I'm happy to help you. Subscribe to my channel now and share the video with people like you who are learning Chinese. I will see you on our exercise video. Happy learning! Bye! 再见!